In this video, we're going to use Akuro's web proxy service to consume an external API. In this case, I'll use the random user API, which is a service that just generates a random list of users with names and profile images. Our first step is going to be to set up a data model for the data we want to extract. In this case, we'll need to create a model that can store the first name, last name, and image of the user. From the App Studio, while working on my app, I'll click Data Models. Right-click the Models folder, click Add New, and name my model Users. I'll then add fields for first name, last name, and image, then click Save. Now, in order to consume this information, we need to set up our back-end service. From the Tree View menu, go ahead and expand the Back-end Services folder, then right-click Web Proxy and click Add Web Proxy. I'll name it User Service, then click Save. I'll use the URL service and paste in the API address. Set the type to Get Request and then head to the Data tab. Great. Now we need to map the data from our service to our data model. So we'll first map this structure by clicking Generate Schema. The URL looks correct, so I'll click Generate one more time. Now we can see the output of the service, so we can specify which data to extract. All of the data we want is in the Results array, so I'll select Results, click Extract, and then I'll choose my user data model that I just created. Now we choose which fields will map where in our model. So now I can click first name, map it to first name, last name to last name, and we'll grab the thumbnail output and map it to the image field. And we should be good to go. When we've finished up our mapping, the next thing we need to do is to create a collection to store our data to. We'll save our user service settings so far, head back to the home page, click data, and then add a new collection. I'll go ahead and choose my user data model we previously created, click Next, and then say that a private and temporary collection is fine for this example, so I'll click Next a couple more times, then name my data collection Users before clicking OK. When that's all finished up, I'll save my collection, then head to Design and bring in a List View component, choosing to use data from the Users collection. Now, I can map how the data will be displayed in the list view. I'll map first name to text 1, last name to text 2, and then image to left image. Now, it's important when we do this to make sure we choose a layout for our list view that supports a left image, so I'll choose the second template on the left. You'll notice that my page remains blank, and that's because we haven't yet asked the service for the data yet, nor put that data into our collection. To accomplish this, I'll head to the Scripts tab and click Create New Script. The first block I'll add will be a Cloud Proxy Execute block. I'll drag our User Service Proxy to the Web Proxy argument and you'll notice the API key is populated automatically as well. Now, we'll just map the results output value to the users collection we just created and click OK. The next step is going to be to reload the data on the page so our page has the most up-to-date information to pull from. So for this, we'll use a data.refresh.loadData block. We'll connect it to our previous block, hit OK, and we should be ready for the next step. What is that next step? It's using a UI component reload block to make sure that our list view component actually refreshes so that it can contain the most up-to-date data available. Go ahead and drag in that block now, map the list view component to it, click OK, and then exit visual coding as your script is done. Now, if I save the page, I can see that when our page loads, our web proxy copies the retrieved data to the collection we set up and then updates our list view component to show this collection. 
As you can imagine, the web proxy service within Akuro has a lot of powerful and versatile applications, and we're working on demonstrating more ways to use it every single day. Depending on the projects you'll work on, this is something that's likely worth taking a few minutes of your time to get acquainted with. That's all for this video, and we'll see you next time.